Hey everybody, this is Brian here, and uh, this is videos pertaining to my reptiles, my snakes, and my tegus, but mostly my tegus, uh, lizards from South America, Central America. I'm here at the uh, pet store today in uh, Dallas or Plano, uh, and it's a serious, uh, one of our more serious uh, exotic reptile uh, pet stores. And so uh, I'm going to go in here today and uh, we're going to use a UVB meter, an actual UVB meter that costs like $300, which I don't necessarily want to buy, uh, and test some of my UVB lights and uh, or my UVB light fixture and three or four different uh, uh, UVB lights, uh, fluorescent light tubes, uh, T5, uh, you know, powered light with uh, either a 5.0 or a, or a 10.0 bulb um, and 10.0 bulb is the greatest of UVB, UVB output. So uh, let's go inside and, and join me on this video to find out uh, about UVB output and, uh, and the light, the type of light that I have. Okay, here we go. And what so, kind of what kind of meter is that? The, it's a UV 6.2 or 6.5. And it's a zoom ed. Uh, this people, is actually a solar because people will ask that. It's, it's a, a solar meter. It's the same thing as a zoom ed. They're all made by the same company. They're rebranded. The so they're yeah. So that's the best of the best. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like three hundred three hundred dollars. Yep. It's six point five. All right, cool. So what you want to do? Oh, sorry. Or you, or you can tell me. Yeah. Well, well, I'm gonna teach you how to use it real fast too. So, so just depending on the animal you want to use, this is your your range you want to be in like depending on what kind of animal it is one two three yeah four, the, four. i have a tegu so we'll probably in the, the yellow tegu's probably in that three range yeah so and probably exactly. like two to three feet away um or, most t5s are, are gonna are only good about 18 to 20 or 24 inches yeah so um i recommend getting them within 18 inches of the bulb okay so 18 inches w yeah. uh, from the bulb for yeah, they healthy can, uvb output yeah okay cool so, and, it's and, then, and then you just push the button and hold it under the light. Yeah, like here, I'll show you. Cause it's, I'm going to wait for these up. Yeah, well, the sun's coming out right now. That's good. Yeah, let's see what's... It's even cloudy outside. And we're getting so 4.40, 4. 4. 4. and yeah. it's cloudy outdoors. Yeah, that's, okay. It's almost in the, that's almost bad. Almost five. <laughs> yeah. Almost bad. It's almost detrimental. Very cool that we came out here and saw that. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I wanted you to make, actually see make the clouds kind of start there. Yeah. It's uh, cloudy and the uh, sun just kind of poked out right in this little area. See it kind of back and forth, see. Yeah. So there we go. This is the premium meter, so we should see what these lights actually make. Cool. Oh, yeah, see, look, now it's coming back out. Yeah, yeah the sun's go. now coming back out, so it jumped up. Like okay, so in here under just normal light, we're not getting any. He's pressing the button. We're not getting any false no. you know, readings. So, okay, cool. We're just yeah. going to do it right here. Yeah, so don't worry. You, oh, you might throw it in the freezer. I'm going to run to the bank real quick. Yeah. Thank you. So what I would do best for it is just like once you get it on and plugged in. Oh, it's almost like two feet right at the ground. So that'd be right well, kind, of, kind of where you want it. You can take that video kind of. And then where do you put the meter at under that? So what I'm going to do is you're going to film this. I'm going to have best for help. So. I would just do this and just kind of show like out and just what it is down. really really close and then all when it goes the way down, down. two feet yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a 6.2 meter if you know how to do the conversion it's still accurate so that was actually before they came out with 6.5 but to give you an idea this is the same so bulb. this is the 6.5 is what you're saying yeah or? that fix that meter there the one near this picture that you're looking at is yeah. a 6.2 but to give you an idea of the difference i just want I, when yeah. I did this picture i wanted to well, show people the importance of a polished aluminum reflector this is with the polished aluminum reflector. This is just a reflector taken so out. So 119 versus 259. It literally doubles the output. And it's the same bulb, same fixture. Pictures are taken that's, like two minutes that, apart. That's what they say on the website. Yeah, with this. So that's you can remove this reflector if you don't want so much of the exactly. UAV. Exactly. That just shows you how important a good reflector is. Yeah. You know? So it Thank makes you. a huge difference. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm testing here is the RepTiZoo. Uh, this is the 54 watt light the fluorescent light fixture and it's the uh, t5 i just got this brand new light in the mail i have a second light at home and so that's what we're going to be testing and here is the fixture i can't remember exactly how long it is but i'll post the numbers uh, very very cool light and a very high intensity uh, reflector which the owner of the store talked about the importance of the uh, shiny reflector that's removable um, and just gives you different options uh, for people with different types of reptiles that need more or less UVB. 
all metal construction, all aluminum, and uh, this this uh, power cord comes out, which is useful for putting it in different applications. And this light can hang from the top of the inside of your enclosure, which is very, very cool. So this gentleman here is helping me plug that in, and we're going to then measure the different light bulbs that I have right here, a Reptisun 5.0, and the other uh, T5 5.0, uh, and the T5 uh, Repti Zoo bulbs that come with the light. I have uh, two new ones and uh, one used one. That's this one here uh, that has been, I've had it in a fi my fixture at home for one year. So we're going to test that uh, and see how that has decreased in performance. All right, so this is the uh, one year old UV bulb that came with this. It's a 10.0. I've used it two years. So So that's, that's, that's a three at about seven to eight inches, a two, and it gets down to about a one three at 14 inches, or a, a foot, yeah, 14 inches, and then down lower, it's uh, at two feet, it's 0.4. So the bulb has probably used up a lot of its life, which is supposed to replace these every six months. Let me just see that real good, quick yeah, here. Then. So, so again, up really close, it's showing 11, so 9, 5, 3, 2, 1.6, 1.2, not a point nine, point seven, point six, point five, And so as it gets down, that bowl likely needs to be replaced. So I'll just put that right there. And we're going to try uh, the... Uh, New Reptisun uh, T5 bulb. We're gonna try. I bought this here, so we're gonna try the 10.0 uh, UVB. Well, actually, this isn't the 10.5. It's the 5.0 uh, put in this box T5 HO. So we're gonna test that next. So, you know what you're getting into, you know, in their disposition. Uh, by looking at them. Okay, so this one is the Reptisun T5 5.0 bulb because um, the owner recommended not blasting the reptile with two 10.0 bulbs. A tegu that is. It's, this is not a bearded dragon that requires more UVB, but this is a tegu. So, so here's the meter. This is the brand new T5 5.0 bulb. So up at right near the light, we're getting 6.7, 7.9, 8.5. And as we go down, it drops to 2.9, 3.0, 0, 1.0 at one foot. And at two feet, we've got 0. 0.3. This stuff works great for like, um, Snakes, a lot of Okay, so this is the brand new uh, Repti Zoo brand bulb, and it's the T5 10.0. Oops, sorry. Let me do that again. So, uh, right up at the light, we're at 16, 17, 18, and as we come down, uh, down to a foot. We're down to 2.2, and as we get down to 2 feet, then we're going to measure uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. That's the brand new bowl, brand new Repti, uh, Repti Zoo bowl, 10.0 T5. All right, so here we're testing the brand new Repti Zoo T5 10.0 bowl. And uh, that's in the RepiZoo fixture, so this is going to be the optimum of the very, very best. So, 12.913, so at a foot, 2.5, at 2 feet, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, like I mentioned. 9, 13. 
and that's definitely 13 and the 10 and above is something you would never want to uh, allow your uh, basically your reptiles to endure for very long um, and the UVB meter here is one let's see one two three and four and gets up you know into the range and definitely don't want it over here in the red uh, for some uh, reptiles maybe uh, the bearded dragons can handle more heat and maybe some other reptiles but definitely uh, not tegus and, and monitors will be more towards the uh, yellow to the orange uh, extreme okay well that's our video thanks for tuning in and watching and hopefully this is helpful for everyone it's very helpful for me to understand that my lights are outputting uh, you know the UVB and then the distance that I know that I need to kind of put my lights above my reptile so that they get the right amount of light. Lots of frogs, um, snakes, turtles. Let me see here. Lots of lots of setups. Pretty cool pet store. Here we have the cicadas and the. Uh, I'm not a big uh, reptile uh, turtle person, so uh, red foot cicadas, different different tortoises back up and get all that in there and we actually have some tegus and some uh, bearded dragons and some uromastics um, a lot of different things at this at this store there and a pretty cool uh, aquarium that they have set up right there and some of the uh, personal owners uh, snakes and lizards Cooper. I've never heard of that snake. Here and build enclosures for people. is a little dirty. Some geckos. Back there on the back wall hanging hanging out. Physically hanging out. <laughs> Basklisk, right there. There's one hanging out on the uh, screen. Sure. 
not only do they uh, have some cool reptiles too and a lot of different uh, animals, uh, they also have a lot of supplies. So I'm just going to show you that real quick and then we're going to end the video. Look like croc monitors. Lots of different supplies for your reptile needs. Very expansive. Lots of lights and light fixtures and terrariums and cages that you can uh, purchase and properly house your animal. And then I mentioned earlier in the video they have a little boarding section for people that go out of town or long-term care and a lot of their pets stay in this room and are taken care of. and. Uh, and they receive uh, the proper care while you're gone and protection taken care of. Here's their lighting section, uh, Repti Sun. Heat mats. And here are their uh, parrots. Hello! Hello! Oh, don't scare me. Hello! Ooh, whoa. Sell so vision cages here, the popular uh, cages for a lot of people. Too expensive for me. I have to go buy more budget stuff. And some emerald green tree boas here hanging out. The big monitors. I'm not very well versed on my different monitors, but they've got two of them here and they've got a huge enclosure. <laughs> 